sa mga balita sa alas 12. Kerwin Espinosa, mi bakwe sa iyang papasangil, batok ang Senador Laila Dilima. Mga motorista nga muagi sa Taytayan, diya sa manangad at bayan sa talisay, dili ang ayang mabalaka. Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa Newsang Puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Gibakwe sa drug lord ga si Kerwin Espinosa ang iyang mga pamasangil. Bato kang Senador Laila Dilima o may klaro nga wa siya sukad nga nagkatransaksyon sa legal nga drogas kung sa illegal nga drogas sa maong nga senador. Ang abogado ni Espinosa nga si Atorne Raymond Palad ni Confirmar Osab sa pamahayag ni Espinosa na ni Pirma kini o gusto ka subscribes nga counter rapidabit din siya ni Ingon nga gihulga lang siya sa mga pulis atol sa Senate hearing ni Adto nga Nobembre o Desyembre sa 2016 matod sa yang apidabit nga ang tanan niyang mga pamahayag nga gibutyag atol sa baong nga Senate hearing o mga pinirmahang apidabit batok sa Senador Dilima dili kini tinuod matod ni Espinosa nga napugos siya sa pagsulti ni Adto Higayuna tungod kay gipiit siya o gihulga pagayon sa mga pulis. Apan si Prosecutor General Benedicto Malcontento niingon nga ang magbakwi ni Espinosa way epikto sa kaso ni Dilima sa Department of Justice. Ang abogado sa Dilima nga si Atty. Filibon Takardon miingon nga ang pagbakwi ni Espinosa sa testimonya o ebidensya kini nagbatuod lang na tumutumo ang pamahayag kani Adto Batok sa Sirador. Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas ang dakbayan sa Sugbo aduna ay tulo ka bagong kaso kagahapon kini base sa report sa Department of Health samtang ang Lapu-Lapu, Mandawi, Buhol, Sikihor o Ganigros Oriental way bagong kaso apan ang lalawigan sa Sugbo aduna ay tulo sa kinatibukan moabot lang sa unom ka mga bagong kaso sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas kagahapon adlaw. Departamento sa Panglawas may pahimangno sa publiko nga magmatngon sa posibleng pagsaka na usab unya sa kaso sa COVID-19 karong buwan sa Mayo. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Gian Navarro. 
Gibutyag sa Chief Pathologist sa Department of Health 7 nga si Dr. Mary Jean Loreche nga posibleng matinuod ang gikabalak ang COVID surge karong eleksyon. Una nang nagkanayon ng Okta Research Group nga dili layong matinuod dinhi sa nasod ang subling pagsaka sa mga kaso sa COVID-19 sama na lang sa ubang nasod. Apan na paglantaw ni Loreche nga may tabo kini kung dili magmatngon ang katawhan ning nagkaluag na ang health protocols sama na lang sa wala pagsulob sa face mask. Ug wala pa na bakunahan batok sa COVID-19 sukad pa mas musamo tinuon kini kung dili magmatngon ang mga tao sa higayong mamutar na karong Mayo 9 everything can be done no properly para siguraduhon lang nato nga maka sila makabutar and yet this katakod kung lain nila paminaw possibly pod nga kung pa, possible lang sad nga kung sila lain nila paminaw They will have to be more mindful. Aron kalikayan ang posibleng pagkuyanap sa mga COVID-19 cases karong eleksyon, giandam na mismo sa Commission on Elections ang isolation area. Alang kini sa mga gustong makabutar, apan adunay pamati sa lawas. Mato di Attorney Jerome Brillantes, ang Acting Provincial Election Supervisor, na kuyog ang DOH sa paghimo o guidelines kalabot nini. Kung isgutan man ang posibleng pagpospon sa eleksyon tungod lang sa COVID surge, usa lang ang napaglantawan sa habig sa COMELEC. The record is that COMELEC will conduct. The, he was given by the Constitution and laws to conduct uh, elections. And I think uh, COVID-19 is not one of the grounds. Itambag ang managlaing habig nga sa publiko nga tumano ng health protocols o magmatngon aron makabutar nga luwas karong adlaw sa eleksyon. Gian Navarro, CCTN News. Hapsayra ang ipahigayon nga local absentee voting nga gisugdan ni Adto Niaging Adlaw matod sa Kumilik nga 30% sa mga pulis nga destino sa Cebu Island na kabutar na. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Desime Padilla. Basi sa record sa Police Regional Office 7, maabot sa 2,767 ka mga police personnel sa Tibok Rayon 7 ang mipahimulos sa local absentee voting. Nasuta sa mga sa unang adlaw sa local absentee voting na sa 1,384 ka mga police personnel ang nakabutara gikan sa mga national positions sama sa President, Vice President, Senator sub party list. Dinhi sa Cebu City ang mga police personnel nga nadistino sa Cebu Island ang nakamibutar sa Abiliana National School. Mato ni Migomi Tapia, election assistant 2 sa Comelec Cebu City South District, ang local absentee voting sa kapulisan sa Rayon 7, ang PRO 7 ang ipahigayon ini. O gibahin ang mga polis nga makabutar sa tulog kaadlaw nga pagpahigayon sa local absentee voting. Dugang ni Tapia ang papel sa Comelec sa pagpahigayon sa local absentee voting, maong mutabang sila sa pag-supervise, ilabi na sa pag-observar sa minimum health protocol. Gihulagway ni Tapia ang hapsay o marinaw ng pagpahigayon sa local absentee voting. Karon ang role sa Comelec na dire mutabang o supervise labi na yun sa atong kwan sir kining pag-observe sa minimum kwan health protocol no Umaroon niya sa tulog kaadlaw ng local absentee voting, si Tapia Miasoy, ang Police Regional Office 7, musubmit matod pa ang report sa Committee on Local Absentee Voting nga mo in charge sa pagpahigayon ni Ini. Uh, doon naman tayo ka ng kuwan, Committee on Local Absentee Voting. So, yung human nila diri, ang kining nikandakan eh, kining Region 7, nga uh, kuan nasa sila ikuan ma'am uh, musubmit ra sila nga sa central office namo nasayra nga gawa sa PNP ang ubang law enforcement agency sa ubang ahensya sa gobyerno nagpagayon sa bug local absentee voting aron katong dili makabutar sa May 9, 2022 national ug local elections makabutar gihapon sa mga kandidato nga sa ilang tan-aw maghatag og kaayuhan sa nasod Desme Padilla CCT News Waya ngayang kabalakan ang mga motorista nga muagi sa Taytayan sa Mananga o ga flyover diya sa Dakbayan sa Talisay. Tungod kay matud pa ligon kini ang Department of Public Works and Highway sa Second Engineering District Mingon nga ang nahitabo dito sa Taytayan sa Luay Buhol dili mahitabo sa Dakbayan sa Talisay. Si Engineer Leonardo Abaw ni Ingon nga makasiguro sila nga ligon ra ang Taytayan o flyover bisan paman sa gidugayon na ni ini. 
Matod niya nga ang taytayan sa mana nga gipalingunan sa duha na katuig ang nakalabay. Samtang ang pagtrabaho sa taytayan maulang ang pag-aspalto human sa eleksyon karong Mayo 9. Ang mga tipaka nga nakita sa flyover diya sa Tabunok na ayo na usab. Apan ang pundasyon ni ini nagpabilin nga lingon. Maukad to ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTV News and Current Affairs ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang iyang atong Sire 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTV Chapel. Daghang salamat.
Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. personal intentions. Let us offer this Mass for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and stream celebration. We also continue to pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may ever exalt in the revelation of his glory who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Theodos appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed, and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas, the Galilean, at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had flogged them and ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. See the 
Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee, and a large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what good are this for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled 12 wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, this is truly the prophet the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. A blessed Friday to us. There are little details in today's Gospel reading that need also particular focus in the sense that even little things mean a lot. Even in the so many th uh, events that are happening in our lives, no usahay kita ba? Ganahan mong kita kayo bunggasyos na mga bunga. We tend to forget the little details. But here in this particular gospel reading, just to set the, the pace or to give the setting of, of the episode, it is talking about the Passover. And Passover is actually during springtime. 
And this is the reason why the Gospel reading says that there was a great deal of grass in that place. So it is springtime. And springtime always means renewal or newness. But then there is an interesting connection to what Jesus did. He was feeding the people. And when he wanted, he asked the people to sit on the ground to accommodate themselves no? on the grass. There is another image that comes of a person who feeds his flock. And who is that person? The shepherd. Jesus the good shepherd anyway. So he is actually saying something like, you are my sheep. And I'm going to feed you. There is, a, there is plenty of grass there for you to accommodate. Not, to, not that the people were eating grass. But of course, he was feeding them. And from the little uh, available source, five barley loaves, which actually, according to biblical perspective, is the food of the poor, and two fish. Dili lang two fish. When we read the original Greek word for this, this is an expression of dried fish. Buwad, no? Gikan sa lima ka pan o buwad, duha ka buwad. And these are simple, you know, simple food. But out of this simple food, the Lord multiplied and fed how many? 5,000 people. So this is something of a very special significance. And this happens every now and then in the Eucharist. We only have to come and open ourselves to the graces that God will pour out on us. No? Yesterday's uh, first reading or gospel reading says, He does not ration His graciousness. No? Overflowing. And through the little things that we can offer and we can contribute, many huge things can happen. And this is a very beautiful challenge for us. Dili tamingon nga, ay gamay raman akong ikahatag, mauaw man ko. No, anything goes because it is the Lord who magnifies everything for our sake and for the love of us. Amen. Jesus multiplied loaves and fish on the mountain to feed the hungry multitude. Let us now pray for the needs of the hungry and the poor, and for the strength to come to their assistance, as we now say, Lord, give us our daily bread. Lord, give us our daily bread. That the ministers of the church may feed without fail the people of God in the table of the word and in the table with the Lord's body, we pray, Lord, give us our daily bread, that government and civil agencies may attend to the people's need for food, shelter, and security. Amen. We pray. Lord, give us our daily bread. Like the boy who offers five barley loaves and two fish, May we be generous with our little resources, which the Lord will multiply to answer the needs of many. We pray. Lord, give us our daily bread. As we pray for those who are hungry, may the Lord touch our hearts and open our hands to feed them. We pray. Lord, give us our daily bread. May we thank the Lord for the gift of food that restores our strength for those who work to produce what we eat, and for those who prepare it at table. Amen. Lord, give us our daily bread. Father, open our eyes that we may see the deepest needs of men and women and children. Teach us the generosity that welcomes the hungry, the thirsty, the strangers, and those who suffer in any way. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. 
before us, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, we admit to fail his assistant bishop, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Catherine of Siena, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am Lord, not worthy that you, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine through Christ our Lord. Señor Santo Nino, you are our King and our God. We worship you. You are our strong defender. We turn to you. You are the patron of Cebu and the Philippines. We come to you. You have made extraordinary wonders through your miraculous image in these chosen islands. Remember us. Look down at this poor soul that comes to you for help. Lead us with your wisdom. Discipline us with your truth. Console us with your tenderness. Protect us with your might. We consecrate today our thoughts to you. Only with you shall they be occupied. Our words only of you shall they speak. Our sufferings that we may endure them for your sake. We beg you, Señor Santo Nino, illumine our understanding, kindle our will, cleanse our body, sanctify our soul. We wish what you wish, because you wish as you wish, as long as you wish. Grant us, Señor Santo Nino, that we may feel love toward you, be strict toward ourselves, be zealous toward our fellow men, and rightly despise the things of the world. Help us to overcome sensuality with strict discipline, avariciousness with generosity, anger with gentleness, indolence with zealous industry. Make us wise in counsel, courageous in danger, patient in adversity, humble in prosperity. Teach us, dear Santo Nino, how worthless is the world, how sublime is heaven, how brief is time, 
how long is eternity. Grant us lastly that we may remember you, adore you, love you, and serve you here on earth, that we may be happy with you forever and ever in heaven. Amen. Amen. In every need, let us come to you with humble trust. Santunin, you help us. In all our doubts, perplexities, and temptations. Santunin, you help us. In hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials. Santunin, you help us. In the failure of our plans and hopes. Santunin, you help us. In disappointments, troubles, and sorrows. Santunin, you help us. When others fail us and your grace alone can assist us. Santunin, you help us. When we throw ourselves on your tender love as our only refuge. Santunin, you help us. When our heart is cast down by failure when we are ill and our head and hands cannot work and we are lonely when we feel impatient and our cross irritates us always always in spite of weakness faults and shortcomings of every kind let us pray O Santo Nino who has said ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you Give, we beseech you, to ask who ask the gift of your divine love, that we may love you with our whole heart, in word and work, and never cease from showing forth your praise. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of your holy name, for you never fail to govern them, whom you do solidly establish in your love, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. O miraculo Santo Nino, Standing before your sacred image, we beseech you to cast a merciful look on our troubled hearts. Let your tender love so inclined to pity be softened at our prayers and grant us that grace for which we ardently implore you. Take from us all unbearable affliction and despair. For your sacred infancy's sake, hear our prayers and send us consolation and aid that we may praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you since this and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O most holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Señor Santo Nino, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Pray for us. Our Lady Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines 